हेलो गाइस दिस इज मोहित मेलावत वेलकम टू दी चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइंडिंग द एरिया अंडर द कर्व एंड फॉर दैट आई विल बी यूजिंग जियो जेब्रा फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मैथ्स दैट इज यूज्ड टू इवैल्यूएट द एरिया सो फॉर दैट लेट्स फर्स्ट कंसिडर दैट आई डू हैव अ कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन एफ एंड लेट्स से द इंटरवल इज फ्रॉम ए टू बी The area under the curve is given by the definite integral, where the limits are from a to b, and function f x into d x. So that's the formula that we all know, and we use it to evaluate the area. So let's say I take an example of a parabola given by x square. So this parabola is symmetric about the y-axis as shown on the figure, and let's say I want to evaluate the area over zero to three. So the lower limit is zero. and the upper limit is x is equal to 3 so area under the curve is the shaded region this region which is below the curve and above the x axis so replacing the values into the formula the area can be evaluated manually but i'll be using geogebra to do the same thing so guys i have opened the geogebra classic as you can see it's a mathematical utility where you can graph your function or you can evaluate area or volume and there are many mathematical operations that you can perform depending upon your requirement so as you can see on your window the left side is the input where you provide the function that you want to graph or you want to solve some equation everything goes in here and on the right side is your graphical window where all the visualization happens So let's get started. First of all, I'll define the function that I want to graph. And for our own example, I have used parabola given by x square. So it's a vertical parabola which is symmetric about the y-axis. Now we want to evaluate the area over the interval zero to three. so for our own convenience i'll be drawing two vertical lines which just uh, gives me an understanding that this is the region that we are talking about so the lower limit was x is equal to 0 and the upper limit is 3 so x equal to 3 so these are the two vertical lines and i'll change the style of these two lines so i'll be using dashed lines and let's say i change the thickness and let's say i'll change the label of the lines okay the area under the curve is evaluated using the definite integral so for that in geogebra we do have a command named as integral and the for our own purpose i'll be using the third one which is integral function start value and the end value okay so first i'll have to define the function so for the here i'll be writing f so that's the function we are talking about the lower limit is 0 so that's x equal to 0 so i'll just write 0 and the upper limit is x equal to 3 so i'll just write 3 and enter so as you can see the uh, tool returns me a value which is 9 so that is the area and on the right side the shaded region is the actual area which i can which you can now visualize the value written over the shaded region is the area which is 9 square units so this is all for this video guys if you have anything any query regarding this please do comment please like subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video thank you